Hello Alchemists! Today we are talking to Santa and Vita, the face of alchemy for November of 2016. This person of interesting gender does not like to be categorized, yet she weaves her talents through many things from theater, burlesque, modeling, even music. So let's hear her story. Hello, Evita. Hello. You just recently came back from Japan. Yes, I did. You spent about a year there. So yes. tell us, what were you doing there? How were you doing there? And what was going on? Uh, I came to Japan as a scholarship student. Uh, so basically, I was studying there. Uh, but uh, apart from studying, I was doing some other things. I got interested in the um, review theater, uh, which is a special kind of theater because in Japanese review theater uh, all the roles are played by women. So I uh, learned how to play male roles. I cut my hair because in Kabuki theater uh, there are only males and uh, in the review theater there are only females. So they are both, uh, it's like they are specialist in male roles and specialist in female roles. Tell me, what are the stories that are being played in this theater? Uh, what are the themes that it covers? Uh, they play traditional stuff as well as modern stuff. It just depends on what they want to do. It's no connection. And in what language were you doing this? In Japanese or English or...? Well, I was mostly dancing or singing, so I didn't uh, need to play, actually. Uh, but at the university I had acting classes and, of course, I played in Japanese. So we did, for example, Shakespeare in Japanese. This theater is also a play on gender. And the first time we talked, you told me that you don't identify with the binary gender of male and female. In fact, you have a gender of your own. Yes, uh, it's because the theater actresses are like only playing male roles or only female roles, but I don't want to be categorized in like just being male or female. Uh, so I think that being artist is my gender. Like on photo shoots or in the theater or wherever I go, I can be male or female that day, but not necessarily the other day. You can be whoever you want, so why should we be categorized in just being man or woman? Tell me a little bit about the makeup you have on. Uh, you just came back from another photo shoot you were doing, so what was it about? Uh, yes, today uh, we did some uh, shaman things. I was like a forest witch, uh, so I had this very heavy makeup and a lot of jewelry. And of course some other stuff, but... Well, now I'm home, so I don't need to have a big witch wig. If I would go out like this, people will certainly think that, oh, just another Halloween freak. Tell me a little bit about modeling. Um, how do you see yourself as a model, as an artist? Uh, do you categorize yourself with any form of uh, steampunk or god, or you just do this as an expression of its own? Well, it's another point in my not liking to be categorized in any way uh, because once I thought that I'm gothic model or Victorian model, steampunk model because uh, people said that oh this Victorian, this steampunk style suits you very well uh, but actually I can do high fashion as well uh, so some people may not even see me as an alternative model because you don't have that much gothic pictures uh, you have like crazy pictures like today. I think that I'm just alternative. <laughs> it's the category I can agree with, but not necessarily steampunk or gothic. Some designs of high fashion uh, designers, uh, I see that they have just as crazy ideas as I do sometimes and I admire them for it. Sometimes I got the inspiration from their art, but sometimes I got inspirations from the forest witches. There is another aspect of you that is very interesting. Um, you do burlesque dancing. 
Now, burlesque dancing traditionally is a form of erotic expression and it involves stripping and so on. However, you have a different approach to what it really means. Tell me about that. Well, I started burlesque because I'm admiring this form of art because in a very short while, in several minutes, uh, you can show your dance, your clothing. It's like turning my photo shoots into a real-life performance because that's how I see it. Of course, there's stripping involved because it's burlesque and uh, burlesque, well, there must be some stripping. And I don't think that it's erotic art. Well, of course, it was when it started, but now it should be just an entertainment. It should be it should be pretty. It should be a pleasure to your eyes, but not necessarily erotic pleasure. When it comes to modeling versus burlesque shows, what do you enjoy more? Not necessarily what do you want to do more of, but what do you enjoy more? Modeling versus this live experience with audience? Well, as for doing, burlesque is much more fun and much more comfortable, I guess, uh, because, for example, on photo shoots, photo shoots as today, uh, I had to be like this with my bare arms and it's like five degrees outside, so quite cold. Uh, I know the pictures will be nice, but uh, doing this is like sacrifice sometimes. And burlesque is fun when you are dancing in front of the real audience. You can see them, you can hear them enjoying themselves, they're like clapping hands, uh, shouting, and you know that they like it, what they see. So it's, you got the, of, of course, for the pictures, uh, you can post it on Facebook and got thumbs up, but when you have the audience in front of you and they are cheering up, it it's much more satisfying than just posting something to Facebook. But anyway, thumbs up are welcome always. So there we go, Alchemists. Never be afraid to try something new. And if you can't fit anywhere, invent a category of your own. And of course, Alchemy is here to help you do that. So come and join us, join our forums, make a website or portfolio with us, or even open your own shop. And of course, throw some thumbs up for this video because it's you heard it. Always nice to have some.